Welcome! The Eldorado Selpas have created this quick video tutorial to address commonly asked questions. Following the tutorial, we encourage you to explore our professional learning catalog by scanning the QR code at the bottom of the screen. Let's get started. Before creating a new user account, you will need the following information. User first and last name, email address, and if the user is a provider, their provider type. Let's create a provider account. To create a new user account, go to the navigation bar, administration, and manage users. Click the green add new user button. Enter the last name and the first name of the user. You will create a unique username. SELPA suggests using the person's first initial and last name. Usernames are case specific. To the right of the username, a red or green prompt will appear to notify you if the username you are creating is already in use or is available. You will also create a password for the user following the guidelines on the page. Please keep track of the username and password as you will need to share these with your new user once the account is created. A user title is optional, but you must enter an email. Note, if a provider has multiple accounts in a SELPA, these accounts can be linked by the email. Where it says user level, select the type of user. You will have the choice of district, school site, or provider. In this first example, we will select provider. The user type should match the credential of the provider. Providers only have access to students they are assigned to. Once the user level and type are populated, you must select the permissions allowed for this user. If no permissions are selected, the student record and IEPs will be read only. You can select all permissions by clicking the box next to the word permissions in the header. You can select spe specific permissions by clicking the box next to the specific permission you wish to add. If you have a provider who is also a case manager, they will need the following permissions in order to affirm IEPs. Edit student record, affirm progress reports, and affirm IEPs. Many LEAs have internal guidance on what permissions might be given. Click the green Save button once permissions have been selected. The user account is now active. Give the new user their username and password and ask them to change their password when they log in for the first time. Let's create a district level user account. To create a new user account, go to the navigation bar, administration and manage users. Click the green add new user button. Enter the last name and the first name of the user. You will create a unique username. SELPA suggests using the user's first initial and last name. You will also create a password for the user following the guidelines on the page. Enter the user's email.
where it says user level, select the type of user. You will have the choice of district, school site, or provider. DLU and school site level users have access to more permissions and should be limited to only a few individuals in your LEA. In this second example, we will select district level user. Make sure to also select the appropriate user type. If you select district or school site, you will also need to indicate whether or not the user provides direct services to students. If you select yes, you will need to populate the provider type. These types of users will also require a separate provider account that allows them to be added to and carry a caseload. If a user has more than one account, they can be linked here once both accounts have been created. Once the user level and type are populated, you must select the permissions for this user. The following permissions are suggested for district level users. That is the primary data reporter to CalPATS. Can update special education initial entry start date. Can upload district enrollment date. Can upload SSID district ID. Create CalPADS transaction. Edit CalPADS transaction. Edit exited students. Edit student record. Generate CalPADS reports. Manage student accounts. And manage user accounts. Again, these are the permissions suggested for DLUs that are the primary data reporter. The following permissions are to be used by the SELPA level only. Edit CDS conversion and manage school district info. Once the permissions have been selected, click the green save button. The user account is now active. Give the new user their username and password and ask them to change their password when they log in for the first time. Thank you for learning with us. If you find this tutorial helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. On behalf of the Eldorado Selvas, thank you for everything you do to improve the outcomes of students with disabilities.